relations with West Port, uh, which is very close to me, it's where my mother is from. And we are delighted that you've all come out tonight. And so many friendly faces here. So we would like to introduce, first of all, Father Frank O'Brien from Carlos Strand, behind me. He's going to do the honours of launching this absolutely most beautiful. Like, like the bread of uh, the preacher, the bread of Ecclesiastes, I now cast, cast this book upon the waters. May it journey far, may it give sustenance to many, may many, many people hear its words, and may many, many people dance to its very beautiful music. The first thing I'd like to do is to thank Father Pat O'Brien for his deep, heartfelt willingness to perjure himself in public. <laughs> it could be hard to find in another man, it's a great thing to see. Um, I'd like to thank Matt Malloy and Peter for the use of the parish hall here as well. <laughs> I'd like to thank Columba Press for, uh, for the supply of drink here this evening. I hope you're putting both arms into them, by all means. I'd also welcome you all here tonight. Thank you for coming. It's uh, good to see so many people who know me but came anyway. <laughs> I'm going to play a tune first. Um, this is what? Visual assistance, but you can't see it, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a nice wee tune, you know. Um, but that's all it is. But what you do know, when I mean, traditional musicians play music, it means something. Because I know where I got that. I, I got that tune from Callum McConnell, who learned it off Rita and Sarah um, Dolores Kane's aunties. And I know all them people well. So the tune means more than just a wee tune. And I know where it came from. And when musicians play tunes, there's a whole lot of things clustered around the tunes. It's nights they played it, or where they learnt it, or associations they have to it. So you don't just play a tune, there's a whole cloud of associations you have with it all attached to it, right? So the music means something, it means more than just the wee <coughs> tune. But music nowadays is really just nice stuff that you listen to while you're doing something else. And you have things stuck in your ears, or wee electric boxes, or it's on in the car, or it's on in the supermarket, and it just sort of happens all the time, and it doesn't mean anything. It's just nice stuff in the background. To relax. But music does mean stuff. Where I come from in Belfast, if you play the wrong tune in the wrong pub, <laughs> okay, music actually means something where I come from. You have, you have to, you have to realise that. But music in our society generally doesn't mean much. And I decided to launch the book first in Westport because there isn't a better place to do it in, and I have to say that I'm here. But, <laughs> A big famous mountain outside this town. I don't know if you have noticed it. You know, <laughs> um, I wrote the book myself and Chris Smith. You know, Chris Smith. Uh, were chatting years ago now, and we were saying that the number of people going up the reach, and they're going up with bicycles, and they're going up with big strings of women's bras. Yeah, remember that? Or they're going up with for charity causes. Or they're going up because it's a nice day out, or for exercises. Because what you do when you're in Westport, or whatever, right? But it's just a nice thing to do. It doesn't mean anything anymore. There's one day a year where people go up on purpose for a reason. And they know, most of them know why they're doing it, and they know what they're doing it for, and they understand what it's about. It means something. But mostly, thousands of thousands of people go up and down the mountain because it's a nice thing to do. But it means more than that. And Chris and I always have the idea that we should do something so that people working up the reef could actually start to work out how it works. 
I mean, they're right on the robots. Why wouldn't they? Good luck to them, and that's great, and they get a nice day out. But the mountain actually means something. There's more to it than just an upper rock. It's, we, the word we use is holy, or special might be a better word. But nowadays, people don't understand what that means. So the book is to kind of to, to bring out the holiness of it, whatever that means, whatever it means for you, actually. People don't know how to think that way anymore. They don't know why they should, or what they might get out of it, or what the point is. And they think it all, it's all terribly old-fashioned, and it's not what we do, and it's not to do with me anyway. So it's kind of time to turn that round a wee bit, so that people can start to understand. People went up the mountain in the old days because it meant something to them. That more sense than they go up on a bad day just for entertainment, which people are inclined to do nowadays. Now, in pre-Christian times, I don't know what they had in their minds. And even in St. Patrick's time, I'm not awfully sure why they were going up. But they were going up for a reason, and they had a good reason to do it, and they knew what they were doing. They knew what it meant for them. And even the people going up on Rick Sunday, if you ask thousands of them, they might all have different ideas of what's going on. But they do have an idea. They're not just going up for the crack. So the mountain means something. It's not just a scenic place or a famous place. And the book is to try to show people what the meaning is. How to see the meaning. And again, not just in the mountain, but in life and in existence. And in all mountains, or churches, or in the people around us, it is the meaning is the thing, not just the mountain. So there's meaning in lots of places, not just up the reek. The book, so was it, it's about lots of places. Anywhere you are, it's about that. And the meaning you'll find wherever you are is what Christians and other faiths call God, or other names like that. Because God is the meaning of the whole show, if you like. From the start to the present day, God is what the word means, what everything means. And I think many of us have forgotten that, and the book is designed to try and help some people to remember, or to begin to work it out for themselves. It's not really about religion, and it's not about church denominations or beliefs that it does talk about them. The book is about the meaning of reality and how to find that meaning. And if it does you no good, may it do you no harm. And many thanks for listening to me. This oh. <laughs>